After a month of selling off, is the market bouncing back? Let's find out. Hi guys, it's Eni, aka The Knock Trader, your friendly neighbor swing trader, back again with another video. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that alert button to get alerts on all my latest videos. I've got Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Knock Trader on all social media platforms. And if you check that description section below, you'll see a link to my ebook and my mailing list. If you want to join my mailing list, and if you want to get my ebook on how to choose the best trading platform for you, both of them in the description section below. I've also got a Discord group. It's a channel for like-minded traders and investors to talk about everything and anything to do with trading and investing. Uh, if you want to join the Discord group, the link for the Discord group is in the description section below as well. For those that follow my channel a lot, you know DAX is the index that I love to follow. And right now, it looks like there's a bounce back. Well, it looks like a bounce back is occurring. So for those of you that's lived under a rock, I'd have to tell you that for the last month, all of the major indices have been selling off and it's, the DAX sold off by about 41% in a month and it started lingering at this bottom area for, for about a week and now it's been bouncing back over the last two days and it's made 17% uh, gains in, in the space of two days. Now DAX found the support at around 8,000 8, and if you look at the weekly chart 8,000 is a previous support, well, previous resistance. It was a resistance at, in 2000, in the year 2000, it was the all time high. In the year 2007, it was a previous resistance again, and now it's acting as a support. And we all know that old supports become new resistances. So it wasn't too far fetched to see that 8,000 would be a hard uh, mental um, barrier to break. And when, as I've said before, even in my Tesla video, um, round numbers, for some reason, round numbers are psychological barriers when there's a huge sell off or a huge spike. Um, if you remember Tesla, went just shy of a thousand dollars before it started selling off again and I said that before it happened I said a thousand dollars is probably where it's going to stop because people like to take profit or try to get in at round numbers for some reason because that's just the way the human psychology works so when I saw it was at eight thousand pounds I did I'm not gonna lie I thought it was gonna carry on breaking down below mainly because of this whole um, um, the virus this beer bug is um, I thought well the markets are, are are doing really badly and we haven't even seen the worst of what's to come because of the um, the pandemic that's going on. So with that I thought it's a no-brainer it's going to sell off. But and I put my own biases into this trade. When in reality what it was telling me was that it looked like a triple bottom for Orlando. From what I saw it was a triple bottom. So if you go down into and then there was almost like a it's almost like a bullish divergence obviously there was no line to draw here but it was kind of like a bullish divergence here so I, so the signs were telling me to go long but i hadn't i wasn't my own biases wouldn't allow me to um see them until it's too late so yeah there was you could have the signs would have told us yeah bullish divergence going up going up um but yeah i didn't i didn't identify it in time but if you go down into short time frames Yeah, there's all there's all sorts going on here. But what what should have been a um, tell, which is was that every time it broke a, a significant support, it went down at a slower pace. And with bullish divergence, what you want is that it's, you want to see it sell off at a slower rate each time, flatline, and then start coming up. And that's exactly what it did here. It sold off, sold off. It made it it sold off by four one thousand four hundred pips in four days. Here it was 1,500 pips in one day, 9,000 pips in one day, 900 pips in one day, and then it started, it just spent four, four to five days, spent 10 days like basically moving sideways, and then it started breaking out. Now it, it had a triple bottom tier, so it hit this 8,000 mark like three times, but couldn't break through it because there was a lot of buying pressure at that point. And then it started climbing and the last for the last it's been climbing relentlessly it made in one day it went up 1500 pips so what i'm looking for right now is i don't want to get into early well i don't want to get in now because it's made a big move i want to wait for the retracement i want to wait for it to retrace back down to a reasonable level so i want it to retrace back down somewhere and then start climbing and that's and here is where i want to enter not necessarily this point but wherever it retraces to when it starts curving back that's where i want to enter because that would mean that i can maximize my profits and also minimize my risk because if i enter here now 
if it starts selling off i have to be in the red position for quite some time and i want it to sell off and allow me to get in a, into a position where i can um i can enter a long position and then set a tight stop loss so that means that i'm only risking a very small amount of my capital in the trade so the way i would do that the way i'm planning to do that anyway the, the, the strategy is that i'm, I'm going to employ is to once again just carry on letting it overextend right now it's looking good for me well it's the one hour chart so but if let's say i go to like the four, two hour chart so right now it's kind of overextended so um it's overbought right now the rsi is telling me it's overbought because it's just above 70. i would like it to go a little bit more above maybe to about the 80 mark but once it's overbought i would like it to sell off and then start coming back down now the point at which i want to enter is when when the macd is below either either in the red territory and then curving up because that at that point is where i'd see that that's a point to go long so when macd sold off and then it's about to curve up that's the point at which i would take a long position and that would be the tell sign for me as to enter a long position set a tight stop loss and just let it ride and see how far it goes up um but yeah that's the strategy that i'm trying to employ and as you can see here this is kind of the shape that this has made has been almost like a, a cup shape so it's not like a cup and handle but it's like it's been making the initial stage of it was making big big falls and then retracing a little bit big falls retracing now it's flatlined and it's going to make a big rise and it should almost be symmetrical to the way it came up hopefully that's the that's the idea anyway now if you want to get a little bit more understanding of um how these charts have behaved previously it'll be good to um look at yeah look at this section this will be a good section to look at i'll show you let's do around that's it 2008 obviously not to the same extent but there was a big sell-off there's not a big sell-off but there was a sell-off of about a thousand pips and then it double triple bottomed for for a couple of days kind of similar to what it did to the uh, recently it triple bottomed and then it started climbing up now so so this is something that is done before and this is this is the type of uh, move i'm trying to exploit so right now I, f I believe we're in this type of area so what i'm trying to look for is wait for that retracement back down here and this is where i try and enter a long position and then i can set a stop loss just below that position and just ride it up to wherever it needs to go so as you can see here this is that same part of 2018 when it triple bottomed here when it started climbing you, you could enter you could enter the long hair but what i wanted to do was wait for it to i didn't do this by the way but i'm just saying this is what i should have done wait for it to kind of see a little bit of a retracement here it's just gonna does it doesn't have to be a big one like and this would have been the tell sign to okay it's flat line in here at this point okay that's my entry and i enter here and then enter along and just ride it up so that's that's the type of strategy i'm going to try and employ to go long on dax given that nothing crazy happens but it's still kind of i'm still a bit cautious because i'm I, I don't know how i feel about taking a long in the current market conditions I, this could potentially be a dead cat bounce which is why you need to take a long position where the where the stop loss is really tight so that if you're wrong and it carries on selling off you haven't lost too much so i hope that makes sense it's any aka the not trader signing out